Cool, man. Later. Later. What's going on, Print Fam? If you're new, my name's Cam. Welcome to the print life. Roll the credits. Now I am making a little adjustment to my morning ritual. Got black coffee here. Got some stevia, some almond milk in there. And have me a delicious beverage. One of the habits that I think a lot of people that just have good, happy lives utilize is getting up in the morning and starting their routine. Something that I want to implement into my routine that I haven't ever really heard of, but it makes perfect sense, is taking a half hour or even an hour before you start your actual work day, uh, just sitting back, not getting on social media or answering email, just taking notes for like three of the big things that you want to accomplish for the day. Now, I'm, I do use my phone, but it's not because uh, I'm getting on Instagram. The Note 8 has note-taking ability, so this is officially the way I do my to-do list now. This is the best phone ever made, in my opinion, except for the battery life. The S5 lasted like three days before it needed a charge. This one only lasts a day. So, when I was starting my little print shop, I just wanted to see the early days, you know, the struggle when you're first starting out and trying to figure things out. It didn't exist, and it still really doesn't exist, not the way that I always wanted. I'm doing my best to document the growth from where I'm at to where I kind of want to be. And I've been working on it, but the growth has been slow, almost anemic, and in some cases we went backwards. So it's been tough, but at the end of the day, this isn't something that has to be, this series that never has to end. It can go on for 10 years if, if, if that's what it takes. But what I really wanted to do is showcase to you guys the inner workings of things that you're trying to put in place. For instance, we're trying to acquire more traffic to the website and have that traffic convert at a higher percentage rate. So to do that, I have to create a sales funnel. If you don't know what that is, go to YouTube, go to Google, type in sales funnel, you figure it out. <laughs> All right, so that's what's on my agenda today. The sales funnel I'll be working on. But as y'all know, I can't work on that until I get the screens burned for Jesse. He'll be here around 11, so I got about an hour to get started. So let's do it. Enjoy the uh, quick speed thing, 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 thing. What up? Are you opening? <laughs> 10, we open right at 10. Oh, all that shit? Yeah. Okay, thanks, man. This is the batch that we need to get done. Well, not the whole batch, but the majority of what we need to get done over the course of the next couple of days. And that's gonna hopefully be it. We're trying to wrap it up so that we don't have orders and we can take the week of Christmas off. That's the goal. But to do that, we kind of got to get what we have in the queue done, and we got to stop taking orders. So I figure it's already the slow season. Might as well just kind of take this month easy and enjoy it instead of stressing out about work all the time. You know what I mean? What's up, dude? intention of setting the screens up but uh, I got some emails and some phone calls from some clients and they needed me to do some design work there was a there was a rush to get the shit done so when that comes up I I, I just got to prioritize it artwork then I can go into the setup but at the end of the day Jesse can handle the setup we're just not as efficient this is our new system that I'm experimenting with it's kind of like tri lock and then once we get the tri lock bracket for the thing and we're gonna get the tri-lock deal over here for the Sidewinder. One of the brackets is 1500 and then the, the pallet's 1500 I don't wanna pay $3,000 for some sheets of aluminum. That's fucking crazy. If any of you have a tri-lock, my hair looks fucking like a mushroom, that you're willing to part with for a reasonable price used for the 23 by 30 screens, let me, let me know. 
buy it from you. Thanks for calling Monument. How can I help you? That's him. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be complicated, but we just got to sit down and get on the same page. Jesse's setting up back there. I've got all this artwork stuff, man. It's been a long time since I had to do it, but I'm working on some art gigs, some mock-ups, getting that shit knocked out. Uh, don't worry, you buy it. I'm not taking anything from you. This is a specific customer that has to work with me. Uh, it's all good. At the moment, I'm going through the extremely tedious task of font hunting. You all know it, and you all love it. Done. It's 12.45. I know that I said I would be setting up the screens today, but I just got distracted with all this artwork crap. And it can be extremely time consuming, as you guys know. So that's where I am. Once I'm done with all this uh, art crap, then I will get into the uh, sales funnel that I was talking about earlier today. I'm really excited to start on that and then share it with you as I'm working my way through it. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna visually share it, but I'll find a way. We had an order that we were waiting on just a handful of like coaches polos and they were supposed to be on the way but apparently they've been like lost in transit. So I had to reorder them and then pay for the overnight so that we can get them here tomorrow so that we can get, get them printed and hand them over to the customer so that he's not super pissed off. We're already like two days late on that. Not good. Jesse has the first in the series of four different setups that we need to have done and printed by today. Here's the first one. Well, almost. We still gotta print the glass. It's baby Groot in a key. Aw, so cute. Perfect registration. What a cute little guy. All right, dude, go for it. This is the uh, storage unit that I rent from, and the assholes just raised my rent by like nine bucks. So, get out. I gotta get the shit out of the storage by January 15th. Because I ain't paying that extra nine bucks. It's way out of the way. The reason I went out of the way was because it was so cheap. Price goes up, I leave. All right, Jesse has the first batch of shirts done, three more for that particular job, or three more projects, and then we're gonna move on to uh, the stack over here, Sonora Wings. Uh, in regards to the sales funnel, I, I'm not 100% sure how to handle it. It's a learning process for me, and that's what I'm just trying to share with the print fam, is so that they can see that I don't have all the answers, but I just kind of plug through it and I hope for the best. And I think that that's what all of us do when we're small business owners that are on a budget, don't know what we're doing, but we're trying to figure it out. I have decided to wireframe the sales funnel in this program. It's a new program called uh, Adobe XD. It just allows you to wireframe things before you start putting in time to writing copy and then making pages that you don't need. Here's what I've got so far. This is a series of pages that are going to essentially squeeze the client into buying from you as opposed to the competition. Apparently the way you do this is you start with a landing, AKA a sales page. And the idea is that you tell them about yourself and then you offer a solution to a problem that they're looking for. So you'll typically have multiple landing pages all designed around particular key phrases that your ad has in it. Right, so, it's, so it'll be tailor fit. So you could end up with 100 different landing pages for different topics. From there they head to the opt-in page, you enter their email, their phone number, and then they hit get your gift. Now this also sends them into a cycle with the uh, email responder where they're put into our email list where we can retarget them later for holidays and events. We won't spam them, but this is the way that you can keep the clients in the mix even if they don't order from you the first time. But that comes off on its own branch. But while doing that, it also sends them to the gift page where they now get to watch their videos and then they also get some kind of a gift code, maybe for a free setup on the first order, something like that. 
Uh, so they get the stuff, they're liking what we have to offer, so they click the button that says browse some blanks, that takes them to our site's product page, or to right here. This is our probably site's product page, and from here, hopefully it's obvious how to get quotes. Sometimes, apparently, people still get a little bit confused, but overall, it should make some sort of sense, I hope. Now, after you have your wireframes laid out and you know the structure of the pages, now you gotta sit down and actually write the copy. That might be easy for you, but it's a fucking nightmare for me. I know that I need to make a couple of exclusive videos. The only way you can watch them is by signing up. And uh, I, we need to implement some kind of uh, discount code into the... I have to start bringing clients to it. Now, I don't know if this still works. This, to me, I feel like consumers today are much more hip to this kind of shit. But I am going to try it. Ads from Google, Facebook, and Instagram to that one page and see which of those systems does the best job. Uh, and I will let you guys, or I will continue to show you the results based on my findings. Hopefully you learn from this while I'm learning from it. I don't know. I really love this graphic. Look at baby Groot, he's so cute. Me and Jesse are just talking about uh, YouTube playlists. If you guys wouldn't mind, let me know in the comments, uh, especially if you're a new subscriber, do you click on the playlist and then watch them like from oldest to newest? How do you go about consuming the content that I'm uploading? Uh, that would be very helpful in knowing how you do that. Let me know in the comments. 5.13 p.m. Jesse's wrapping up the second project in a series of four on this job. Uh, things are going slower than expected. Probably because I'm not helping because I'm sitting here screwing around with this vlog thing. I need to have priorities. Is the vlog a priority? Could be. All right. That's a wrap on adult baby Groot, right Jesse? Yep. Okay, so two more to go for this one. Yeah. This is uh, behind schedule, so we still need to try to finish these tonight. Mm. Don't know if it's gonna happen, but we're gonna try really hard. I'm going to take a trip online to Digit Smith. I'm sure all of you are familiar with it. Let's see if they have anything to offer in the way of a used Trilock system. Uh-oh, complete automatic press for sale. This was posted on the 9th. Uh, yep, see, he's got a 23 by 31 complete system. Yeah, 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 okay, I need to hit him. Want the try. Can't spell. I have tried buying things off that site before and anything that's in demand, like a Trilock system, it goes faster. Normally it sells faster than you can even respond. 6.20 p.m. and now I am back developing the website, adding functions to it. So I have them working on some very basic like accounting tasks. They're supposed to calculate gross revenue, you know, taxable revenue, and then sales tax owed. Uh, it's supposed to subtract any kind of invoices that are refunded or anything like that. And uh, these super bright people are too dumb to calculate that correctly, apparently. And it takes them almost a week to fix shit, which is already implemented. They just have to modify it. Blood red mad, they're so stupid, bro. These people are paid money and they're complete fucking retards. Fuck them. So stupid. Stacking the last of the four projects for this job. Whew. So we got four jobs done today, technically. I'm hoping that when we get the Trilock system in here, that we can effectively double that. Everything would be easier. Oh. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Also, 
head over to Instagram, follow me at Cam Urban and uh, at Monument Limited. I just created a new Instagram page for Monument Limited. So go follow me over there. Like all my pictures and all that good stuff. You know, just hook your brother up.